okay so in this video we are going to look at how we can actually handle the missing values um, so let's first look at the data so that's the first 20 rows of our data set and as we can see there are many null values in the data set um, so let's see how we can actually detect it and have a count of it so we can use is an a method and if we use any along with it you should be able to get a uh, true corresponding to those columns which has the null values so id doesn't have any null value that's why we have false corresponding to that one uh, just to have a count of null values we can use sum along with is an a method so that gives you the sum of null values uh, for those corresponding columns so now let's try to plot the bar graph for the missing values. So it's um, dot na dot sum and for that we are going to plot it. So it's the kind of bar. Let's just put plt dot show and execute the statement. As you can see for each of the columns the bar for missing values is created. So that's how you can, you know, initially plot the graph and uh, get a glimpse of the data set that you have. If you just press the shift plus tab, you can see by default the how argument is set to any. So it just states any um, null values are present, do drop that row or column. And for all, if all the values are null, then, then only drop that row or column. So by default, it is any and we have threshold as none and in place is by default false so i'm just putting out uh, here i have just taken the subset model date and model year and threshold is three so if um, all these three have null values then i should be able to drop that column okay so uh, now let's just change the in place as false let's remove the threshold and um, Let's just reduce the number of arguments in the subset. Let's just take the model column. And as by default, the how argument is any. Let's specify the how argument as all. And let's just execute the statement. So the expected data set is where the model column has the null values. So those rows will be removed. And that's the resultant data set. Okay, so now let's see how we can actually remove the missing values as we have just seen in the previous examples as well. We can use subset, how, in place arguments. Uh, just Let's just look at it a bit more clearly. So in the drop and A, we have in, pl in place, um, we can specify the subset. By default, the axis is zero. We can specify the axis as one if we are working on the indexes. Okay, now just uh, test and try and see how the things actually work here. Let's just first specify the subset. Let's take the model year, maybe date column, and let's see how things actually behave when we are specifying the threshold parameter. So it's going to only work on the columns that you have specified on your subset. So let's initially take the threshold as one. So, which essentially means that if we have any non-null value in model or the date column, so that row will be retained. Uh, it should be subset equal to. So that's the resultant data set. As you can see, if we have model as non uh, as null and date as non-null, even those rows are retained. So that's how actually uh, threshold works. Let's take a look at another example. Okay, let's try changing the threshold. If we change the threshold to two, so that basically means both the model and date should have non-null values in it. So threshold uh, basically refers to the non-null values. If we put the threshold as zero, it essentially means that uh, there's nothing, you know, there's no bound and basically everything will be displayed. Now let's try to add one more uh, column or parameter in the subset. Let's take the third column as the model year. And let's change the threshold. Let's take it as three. So that essentially means that all the three columns should have non-null values. As you can see, that's our resultant data set. We cannot find any null values under the model date and model year column. 
Okay, so that's how actually uh, your subset drop and it and threshold actually kind of works. Um, but just to have a bit more clarity, let's try to look at on a smaller data set how the things actually work. So if we just specify here on the data set three, we have just a data set of uh, five rows and three columns. If we see, say drop and A and um, just specify the how equal to all argument by default it, it is any so from the resultant data set we can see um, if the row had null values under those specific columns so those rows have been dropped where all three values were null so if we just specify any in this case all those rows have been dropped where any of the value um, under any of the specific column had null value so though that row has been completely dropped off only the row where uh, there has been non-null value that for each of the columns that has been retained okay so let's specify the column as the id and the model under the subset and let's see how how equal to all actually works so here if under the id and the model column if we do have uh, null values under both of them only that row will be dropped so as you can see model had uh, null value and id had non-null value so the row has been retained and where both uh, columns had non-null values those, those rows have been re retained as well now let's specify how equal to any so for any uh, it's like if we have any null value under the id or the model column that whole complete uh, row will be dropped so that's the resultant data set so as you can see for under the id and the model we don't have any uh, null value now let's see how threshold actually works uh, so threshold is equal to two that means uh, both id and model should have not null values if we specify threshold as one uh, so that means uh, we can have one non-null uh, value so that's restrained to id in the model column okay so now let's check how we can actually replace the missing values let's again just have a look at the data set that's how our data set actually looks like so it has various um, null values and non-null values in it um, if we want to just you know replace the value we can use the fill na method as you can see uh, I'm uh, just taking the score column here uh, from the data set 3 and I want to replace all the null values with the value 0 and in place I have specified it as true by default in place is false so as you can see under the score uh, for all the null values it has been replaced by 0 um, similarly we can take um, another column let's take model here this time so I just want to replace it with some kind of you know textual value uh, it has mostly textual data so the default string um, that's the um, that's the value so if we just now check so under the model where there were null values earlier so it has been replaced by the default string so if you don't specify any column and just specify the fill and a in that case it will replace a null values under all the columns with the value that you have specified so let's just uh, have a look at the syntax so in the fill na you have just put the value and it so in this case all the null values will be replaced by the value 99 thank you for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe this channel for more upcoming videos like this thank you